Nigeria's react calls for the arrest of Bishop David Oedipo for holding service uh, when government says that churches, mocks should shut down or gatherings should not be more than 20 persons as a result of the new disease in town, the COVID-19. It is a no-brainer at this point that the whole world is trying their best to fight a common enemy, and that is the COVID-19. The virus, which is popularly known as, you know, the COVID-19, is killing people all over the world, and Nigeria is not exempted. However, Nigerians have been reacting to Oyelepo's actions as he holds church service for his followers on Sunday amidst the instruction to ensure social distancing and slow down the spread. One of the comments made by, the, by Nigerians is that she is ashamed of him. One of the concerned citizens of Nigeria and many more others have criticized Oyedepo for, in spite of him knowing what is required by the instruction given by the authority, going ahead to hold church service that will make transferring the disease easier. So guys, this is what it is. Let me quickly take a few reactions of persons. Another person says, that is, uh, Amele Olatunji David says, If you are ashamed of him, it's meaningless to God. But God is not ashamed of him. That's what matters. The bishop is operating from the realm of the spiritual and the spirit, and he cannot bow to the threat of the physical COVID. Romans 8, 7 says, So, your, your being ashamed of him is for your pocket, more anointing man of God. Okay, guys, do you agree with what this person just said? Another person says, I support what he did. Blind Nigerians, they are not aware that we have lesser cases of the disease because of prayers. How many of you talked on Friday when moxies were filled to the brim on Friday? And if any of you dares Oyedepo, you will drop dead immediately. Antichrist in the making. Okay. For those, for those of you condemning his act, what will you see about hotels and clubs that were filled to the brim during the weekend? Alright guys, that's another person. Another person says, Michael Chiboy says, Church should be allowed to worship. Do we have security in Nigeria? We need prayers from the churches and monks. Only prayer can save us from save us. Government should go and sit down in one place. Okay. Paulinus Enebeli says we uphold the Bible to the detriment of our constitution and safety of our people. Shame on you, Oyedepo. You should be arrested for others to learn. Chikwe says he is still looking for money. He wants to buy another private jet that will enter heaven. I pity him. Let me see where he will fly to. Almighty God is not a respect of anyone. He may deceive many. Okay, Bayoko Ebi says religious leaders are humans. I don't still understand why it is it is that whenever a popular man of God did or does something wrong, nobody dares to correct them. Why? But a politician makes a mistake and people will want to kill him with criticism. Why? Our men of God are human. The heaven they are aiming to go is the same heaven we all are aiming to. So please, whenever they, they, does, they do something wrong, we have to correct them. If not, they will never know they made a mistake. I stand to be corrected. Alright? Uh, Peggy says, the people condemning this man of God are haters. They don't listen to news at all. After government declaration later on Saturday evening, it was cancelled by the chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria after having long talk with the federal government. So this innocent man of God you people are crucifying did not violate any law. If you are a true born again, you will know what it means to stay home on Sunday morning without being in the presence of God. 
Okay. And that person said, Islamic terror, leave this man alone. Dennis Itoro, who is the uncircumcised woman to talk stupid to a prophet? The anointed one, daughter of Belia. Okay. Bayo says, Nigerians are gullible people. Religion control, religions control them. They don't have sense of their own. If any unfavorable action is taken against him, it's you, these people, will be that will be the first to condemn the government. You will introduce politics into it. You will say this is a war against the church. From today, as a result of this defiance to obey the simple instructions as passed by the authority, the number of, corona, of the coronavirus cases will surge forward. A simple infected person among the congregation is enough to trigger exponential growth in infected cases. Oedipo should be held responsible. That's what happened in South Korea when a single infected woman attended a church with the symptom. That's how the pandemic disease spread to all nooks and crannies of their country. Within a month, the reported cases grew from 4 to more than 4,000. Well, guys, I can go on and on and say, you know, on this particular issue with the reactions of many people as uh, people continue to react to these particular issues. You know, other churches like um, the, uh, the Redeemed Christian Church of God where the general overseer, Pastor Debuye, worship was said to, you know, be less than 50. Jester was said to comply. House on the Rock was said to comply. And some other churches, you know, complied to the new rule that the government said uh, the gathering of uh, people should not be more than 50. I think at some point it was also reported in the news that the government said that the gathering of people should not be more than 20. So it was also said that it was reported that um, there were crowd or you know, people in um, Winners Chapel, the health service, you know, at Otter. The health service in Otter. And um, I think the expected crowd were more than 50 or 20 that the government actually stipulated. So, um, and that is why people are beginning to raise their voice and call for the arrest of um, Bishop Oyedipo. Guys, do you think that he should be arrested or do you think that um, he has not done anything bad? Because, you know, in, Nigerians, in Nigeria, we are very religious. A lot of Nigerians are religious. Now, to be religious is different to be a Christian. We are so religious. Even if he had closed the service, people would still have said that why did he close service? Those who are really religious and fanatic. So, I cannot say exactly for sure the reason why Bishop Oedipo decided to hold Sunday service against the rule or the policy of the government. If the government feels that he um, went against the law, they know what to do to get him. So Nigerians are saying that he shouldn't have held service. He should have, you know, held an online service like other churches, you know, did, which would have prevented the coming together of people. The main reason why people are actually against this particular move by Bishop Oedipo is because the government has encouraged social distancing, you know, and have been, they've asked people to stay at home. Like the Lagos State government now has asked, you know, all the civil servants to stay at home. They've asked the civil servants to stay at home so that um, this particular case or issue does not spread, you know, beyond necessary. And as at yesterday, I think the cases, uh, you know, has risen to 90 to uh, 30, I beg to say, in Nigeria. So, guys, do you think that Bishop David Oedipo should be arrested? Do you think he should be uh, tried? Do you think he has violated any law? Uh, do you think that it was unnecessary for him to have held yesterday's Sunday service? Do you think that uh, even if he had uh, asked people not to, you know, come to church, people will still have gone to church because there were cases recorded in some states like Ogun State, you know, and some other states, Lagos State too, where, you know, people went to church and they had, some of them had to be dispersed by the police. 
in uh, in accordance with the uh, rule that people should not gather beyond 20. So the police had to disperse some churches and uh, send people home because they were gathering more and uh, we're not obeying the rule. So guys, do you think that um, the, uh, Pastor Pastor Edepo or Bishop Edepo should be arrested? Whatever your thoughts are, kindly drop by the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon as well so you can get notification whenever a new story is updated. Thank you so much and have a wonderful time. And I'll see you on the other news. Have a wonderful time and see you. Bye for now.